The Enigma Within, unveiling your inner spiritual antenna. The ancient Egyptians revered it, modern scientists study it, and every night it comes alive in your brain. The pineal gland, your body's own spiritual antenna, performs a fascinating dance between the physical and metaphysical realms. But what's really going on in this tiny organ, and how can understanding its function transform your life? Imagine a world where the secrets of consciousness and spirituality are hidden within your own brain. The pineal gland, no larger than a grain of rice, holds the potential to unlock profound insights into your existence. What if this mysterious organ could bridge the gap between science and spirituality, offering a pathway to enhanced awareness and personal growth? As we explore the nightly activities of your pineal gland, you'll discover a realm where ancient wisdom and modern research intersect. From its role in regulating your sleep cycles to its potential as a gateway to higher consciousness, understanding this enigmatic gland could revolutionize your approach to well-being and spiritual practices. Are you ready to embark on a journey that might forever change how you perceive your inner world? The science behind your biological timekeeper Let's dive into the fascinating world of your pineal gland, a tiny but mighty organ that plays a crucial role in your daily rhythms and overall well-being. Nestled deep within your brain, this pea-sized powerhouse is often referred to as the master gland due to its profound influence on your body's hormonal and cellular systems. Imagine a conductor orchestrating a complex symphony within your body. That's essentially what your pineal gland does, directing the ebb and flow of various biological processes throughout the day and night. Its primary function? Regulating your circadian rhythms, the internal clock that governs your sleep-wake cycles, hormone production, and even your body temperature. But how does this tiny gland wield such immense power? The answer lies in its ability to produce melatonin, often called the sleep hormone. As daylight fades, your pineal gland springs into action, secreting melatonin to prepare your body for rest. This process is intricately linked to your exposure to light, particularly the blue light spectrum. Have you ever wondered why using your smartphone before bed can disrupt your sleep? It's because the blue light emitted by digital screens tricks your pineal gland into thinking it's still daytime, suppressing melatonin production. This modern-day habit highlights the delicate balance between our ancient biological processes and our contemporary lifestyles. The pineal gland's sensitivity to light is truly remarkable. It receives signals through a complex pathway starting from your eyes, traveling through your brain, and ultimately reaching this small but crucial organ. This connection allows your body to align its internal processes with the natural light-dark cycle of your environment. But the pineal gland's influence extends far beyond sleep regulation. Its rich blood supply, second only to that of your kidneys, hints at its significant metabolic activity. This high level of blood flow suggests that the pineal gland plays a vital role in numerous bodily functions, many of which scientists are still working to fully understand. One intriguing aspect of pineal gland function is its potential link to cognitive health. Some studies have observed a connection between pineal gland calcification, a common occurrence as we age, and neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's. While more research is needed to fully understand this relationship, it underscores the importance of maintaining optimal pineal gland health throughout our lives. The timing of the pineal gland's activity is particularly fascinating. Did you know that your melatonin secretion follows a distinct daily pattern, peaking between 2 a.m. and 4 a.m.? This nocturnal surge plays a critical role in regulating your sleep patterns and preparing your body for the restorative processes that occur during deep sleep. Understanding the science behind your pineal gland opens up a world of possibilities for optimizing your health and well-being. By aligning your daily routines with your body's natural rhythms, you can potentially enhance your sleep quality, boost your energy levels and even support your long-term cognitive health. Consider how you might modify your environment and habits to support your pineal glands function. Reducing exposure to blue light in the evening, creating a consistent sleep schedule and ensuring your bedroom is dark and conducive to rest can all contribute to better pineal gland health. Ancient Wisdom – The Third Eye Awakens 
As we shift our focus from the scientific realm, we enter a world where the pineal gland takes on a profoundly spiritual significance. Throughout history, diverse cultures and traditions have recognized this tiny organ as far more than a mere biological timekeeper. They've seen it as a bridge between the physical and the metaphysical, a gateway to higher consciousness, and even a seat of the soul. The concept of the third eye is perhaps one of the most intriguing spiritual interpretations of the pineal gland. This mystical idea appears in various forms across different cultures from ancient Egypt to India and beyond. But what exactly is this third eye and why has it captured the imagination of spiritual seekers for millennia? In many traditions, the third eye is seen as an invisible eye, providing perception beyond ordinary sight. It's believed to be a source of intuition, insight and spiritual wisdom. The fascinating part? Its location often corresponds precisely to where we find the pineal gland in our brains. This correlation has led many to believe that the pineal gland is the physical manifestation of this spiritual organ. The ancient Egyptians held the pineal gland in high regard, associating it with the Eye of Horus. This powerful symbol represented protection, royal power and good health. But it also symbolized something more profound, a gateway to higher states of consciousness and spiritual awakening. The resemblance between the Eye of Horus and a cross-section of the pineal gland is striking, isn't it? It makes you wonder about the depth of knowledge these ancient civilizations possessed. Moving eastward, we find equally fascinating perspectives in Hinduism and Buddhism. Here, the concept of the third eye is closely tied to the Ajna Chakra, one of the seven main energy centers in the body. The Ajna Chakra, located between the eyebrows, is often described as the seat of intuition and spiritual insight. In these traditions, the third eye is seen as crucial for spiritual awakening. It's believed to facilitate communication with divine power and foster self-knowledge. As one source puts it, the third eye is designed to facilitate communication with the divine power and self-knowledge. This perspective suggests that by understanding and activating our pineal gland, we might unlock profound spiritual insights and experiences. But the spiritual significance of the pineal gland isn't limited to ancient or Eastern traditions. Even in Western philosophy, we find intriguing ideas about this small but mighty organ. René Descartes, the famous 17th century philosopher, described the pineal gland as the principal seat of the soul. He believed it to be the point of connection between the physical body and the non-physical mind or soul. Descartes' view, while not scientifically accurate by modern standards, highlights the long-standing fascination with the pineal gland as a bridge between the physical and the metaphysical. It's a reminder that the quest to understand consciousness and our place in the universe has been a central human endeavor across cultures and throughout history. In various indigenous and shamanic traditions, the pineal gland is viewed as a portal to the spirit world. It's believed to be a source of visions during rituals and a key to accessing higher realms of consciousness. These beliefs often align with practices aimed at activating or awakening the third eye, such as meditation visualization exercises and even the use of certain plants or substances. What's particularly intriguing is how these ancient spiritual concepts seem to intersect with modern scientific discoveries. We now know that the pineal gland produces dimethyltryptamine, DMT, a powerful psychedelic compound. Some researchers speculate that DMT might play a role in dreams and other altered states of consciousness. Could this be the biological basis for the profound spiritual experiences associated with third eye activation? The idea of activating the pineal gland or opening the third eye is central to many spiritual practices. It's believed that doing so can enhance intuition, increase spiritual awareness, and even lead to experiences of unity and interconnectedness with the universe. While these claims might seem extraordinary, they've been reported by individuals across various cultures and time periods. What if these ancient wisdom traditions held keys to unlocking our full human potential? What if the pineal gland, this tiny organ in our brain, really is a bridge between the physical and the spiritual? These questions invite us to approach the topic with an open mind balancing skepticism with curiosity.
the nightly dance, when science meets spirituality. As night falls and the world quiets, something extraordinary begins to unfold within your brain. The pineal gland, that tiny yet powerful organ we've been exploring, enters a state of heightened activity. This nightly dance of the pineal gland offers a unique opportunity to witness the intersection of scientific understanding and spiritual wisdom. Let's focus on a specific window of time, the hours between 10 p.m. and 3 a.m. During this period, your pineal gland undergoes a fascinating transformation. From a scientific perspective, these hours mark the peak of melatonin production. Melatonin, often called the sleep hormone, plays a crucial role in regulating your body's circadian rhythms. As darkness falls, your pineal gland responds by increasing melatonin secretion. This hormone floods your system, signaling to your body that it's time to wind down and prepare for sleep. The process is intricately tied to the natural light-dark cycle, a rhythm that has governed human biology for millennia. But there's more to this nightly dance than just sleep regulation. Many spiritual traditions view these same hours as a sacred time for introspection, meditation, and connection with higher realms of consciousness. It's as if the veil between the physical and spiritual worlds becomes thinner during this period. In various cultures, the time around midnight is considered particularly potent for spiritual practices. Some believe that during these hours, the pineal gland is not just producing melatonin, but also small amounts of DMT, a compound associated with profound altered states of consciousness. While scientific evidence for this is still limited, the idea aligns with reports of vivid dreams and spiritual experiences during this time. What if these ancient spiritual beliefs and modern scientific understanding are two sides of the same coin? Perhaps the increased melatonin production creates an ideal state for meditation and spiritual exploration. As your body prepares for sleep, your mind might become more receptive to subtle energies and insights that are usually drowned out by the noise of daily life. Consider how many great mystics and spiritual teachers have emphasized the importance of early morning meditation. They often recommend practices in the pre-dawn hours, precisely when melatonin levels are still high. Could they have intuitively understood the optimal conditions created by the pineal gland's nightly activity? However, there's a growing concern that modern lifestyles are disrupting this crucial period of pineal gland activity. The constant exposure to artificial light, particularly blue light from screens, can confuse our internal clocks. This disruption can lead to decreased melatonin production, potentially impacting both our physical health and our capacity for spiritual experiences. Think about your own nightly routine. How often do you find yourself scrolling through your phone or watching TV late into the night? These habits might be doing more than just keeping you awake. They could be interfering with a natural process that's vital for both your physical and spiritual well-being. What if aligning your daily routines with your pineal gland's natural rhythm could enhance both your physical health and spiritual growth? By honoring this sacred window of time, you might unlock new levels of restfulness, insight and connection to your inner self. Imagine creating a nightly ritual that supports your pineal gland's activity. This could involve dimming lights after sunset, avoiding screens in the hours before bed, and setting aside time for meditation or quiet reflection. By doing so, you're not just improving your sleep, you're potentially opening yourself up to profound spiritual experiences. It's fascinating to consider how a small adjustment to your daily habits could have such far-reaching effects. By aligning with your body's natural rhythms, you might find yourself more in tune with the subtle energies that many spiritual traditions speak of. You could experience improved intuition, more vivid dreams, and a deeper sense of connection to yourself and the world around you. Of course, it's important to approach this idea with a balance of open-mindedness and critical thinking. While the spiritual significance of the pineal gland's nightly activity is largely based on ancient wisdom and personal experiences, the scientific benefits of proper sleep hygiene are well documented. By respecting your body's natural rhythms, you're supporting your overall health and well-being regardless of your spiritual beliefs. The chemical key to consciousness. As we venture deeper into the mysteries of the pineal gland, 
we encounter a fascinating chemical that has captured the imagination of scientists and spiritual seekers alike, dimethyltryptamine, or DMT. This powerful compound, often referred to as the spirit molecule, may hold the key to understanding the profound states of consciousness associated with dreams, meditation, and even near-death experiences. The potential for DMT production in the human pineal gland has been a subject of intense speculation and research. While DMT has been found in the pineal glands of rats, the evidence for its production in humans remains inconclusive. This uncertainty creates an intriguing tension between what we know and what we have yet to discover about this enigmatic substance. Imagine for a moment that your pineal gland is a cosmic radio capable of tuning into frequencies beyond our everyday perception. DMT might be the dial that allows this inner antenna to pick up signals from realms we can barely comprehend, but how does this process work and what might it mean for our understanding of consciousness? The concept of DMT being released in large quantities during extraordinary states of consciousness, such as near-death experiences, has captured public imagination. However, it's important to note that scientific validation for this idea is still lacking. This gap between popular belief and scientific evidence creates a fertile ground for exploration and discovery. What if the pineal gland's potential to produce DMT is not just a quirk of biology, but a purposeful design? Some researchers speculate that DMT could play a role in the vivid imagery and profound insights experienced during dreams. It might act as a chemical key, unlocking doors to higher states of awareness as we sleep. The spiritual implications of DMT experiences are equally compelling. Many who have undergone DMT-induced states report encounters with entities, visits to seemingly real alternate dimensions, and a sense of cosmic unity. These experiences often share striking similarities with accounts of mystical or religious visions throughout history. Consider the possibility that the pineal gland, through its potential DMT production, serves as a biological interface between our physical reality and realms of consciousness we're only beginning to understand. This notion bridges the gap between scientific inquiry and spiritual exploration, offering a tantalizing glimpse into the nature of reality itself. The pineal gland's connection to DMT also ties into its historical and cultural significance. In South American traditions, DMT-containing plants are used in ayahuasca ceremonies, believed to facilitate communication with the spirit world. This practice echoes the ancient beliefs about the pineal gland's role as a third eye or spiritual sensor. While scientific research on DMT in humans is limited due to legal and ethical constraints, anecdotal reports suggest its effects can be profoundly transformative. Users often describe a sense of accessing hidden knowledge, experiencing non-linear time, and gaining insights that persist long after the immediate effects wear off. What if these experiences aren't merely hallucinations, but glimpses into aspects of reality our everyday consciousness can't perceive? The idea that DMT might allow us to tune in to normally invisible dimensions of existence is a captivating one, challenging our understanding of consciousness and the nature of reality. The potential link between DMT and the pineal gland also raises intriguing questions about the biological basis of spiritual experiences. Could the spontaneous release of DMT explain phenomena like mystical visions or out-of-body experiences? This hypothesis, while speculative, offers a bridge between the physical and metaphysical aspects of human experience. As we consider the role of DMT and the pineal gland in consciousness, it's crucial to approach the topic with both open-mindedness and critical thinking. The intersection of neuroscience and spirituality is a frontier ripe with possibility, but also fraught with the potential for misinterpretation. Understanding the potential role of DMT in the pineal gland could offer profound insights into the nature of consciousness and spiritual experiences. It invites us to consider that our everyday waking state might be just one of many possible modes of perception, with the pineal gland acting as a gateway to expanded awareness. Nurturing your inner antenna, practices and precautions. Now that we've explored the fascinating interplay between science and spirituality in the pineal gland's nightly dance, 
Let's turn our attention to how we can nurture this remarkable inner antenna. The practices and precautions surrounding pineal gland health offer a unique opportunity to bridge the gap between ancient wisdom and modern understanding. Imagine your pineal gland as a delicate instrument capable of tuning into subtle frequencies of consciousness. Just as you would care for a prized possession, your pineal gland requires attention and maintenance to function at its best. But what exactly can we do to support this tiny yet powerful gland? Meditation stands at the forefront of practices believed to activate and decalcify the pineal gland. By focusing your attention on the area between your eyebrows, often associated with the third eye, you may stimulate increased blood flow and energy to the pineal gland. This practice, rooted in ancient traditions, aligns surprisingly well with modern understanding of neuroplasticity and the brain's ability to change through focused attention. What if the simple act of sitting quietly and directing your awareness could gradually clear away the metaphorical cobwebs from your pineal gland? Regular meditation might not only support your pineal health, but also enhance your overall sense of well-being and spiritual connection. Dietary choices also play a crucial role in maintaining pineal gland health. Certain foods and supplements are thought to aid in the decalcification process and support optimal function. Chlorella, spirulina and raw cacao are often recommended for their potential to assist in detoxification and provide nutritional support to the pineal gland. Consider the possibility that what you eat could directly impact your capacity for spiritual insight and intuition. It's a powerful reminder of the interconnectedness of our physical and spiritual selves. However, as we explore these practices, it's crucial to address a growing concern in the scientific community, pineal gland calcification. This process, where calcium phosphate and other minerals accumulate in the pineal tissue, is more common than you might think. In fact, autopsy studies indicate that the pineal gland undergoes calcification more than any other organ in the human body. The implications of this calcification process are still not fully understood, but some researchers have suggested a possible link to neurodegenerative diseases. This connection, while not definitively proven, raises important questions about the long-term consequences of neglecting our pineal gland health. What if the gradual calcification of your pineal gland could impact not just your sleep patterns, but your cognitive function and even your spiritual awareness? It's a sobering thought that underscores the importance of proactive care for this tiny but crucial organ. One of the most contentious issues surrounding pineal gland health is the controversy over fluoride exposure. The pineal gland's unique position outside the blood-brain barrier makes it particularly vulnerable to accumulating fluoride and other substances. Some researchers and health advocates argue that excessive fluoride exposure, particularly through fluoridated water, could contribute to pineal gland calcification. This claim has sparked heated debates in both scientific and public health circles. While the potential risks of fluoride to the pineal gland are still being studied, it raises important questions about the balance between public health measures and individual wellness choices. What if the very substance added to our water to protect our teeth could be impacting our pineal gland function? It's a complex issue that highlights the need for continued research and informed decision-making. In light of these concerns, many people are exploring ways to reduce their fluoride exposure. This might include using fluoride-free toothpaste, filtering drinking water, or being mindful of other sources of fluoride in their diet. However, it's important to approach these choices with a balanced perspective, considering the overall impact on your health. As we navigate the intersection of ancient practices and modern precautions, it becomes clear that nurturing our pineal gland requires a holistic approach. By combining mindful practices like meditation with informed lifestyle choices, we may be able to support both our physical health and our potential for spiritual growth. Bridging Worlds, the future of pineal gland research. As we venture into the future of pineal gland research, we find ourselves at the threshold of exciting discoveries that could bridge the gap between scientific understanding and spiritual wisdom. The pineal gland, once considered merely a biological timekeeper, 
is revealing itself to be a multifaceted organ with far-reaching influences on our health and consciousness. Recent studies have uncovered intriguing connections between the pineal gland and our immune system. This tiny organ, it seems, might play a crucial role in regulating our body's defenses. Imagine the implications of this discovery. Could optimizing pineal gland function boost our immunity and overall health? The pineal gland's influence extends beyond our immune system, reaching into the realm of sexual development. Research suggests that this small but mighty gland helps orchestrate the complex process of puberty by controlling the release of hormones essential for reproductive maturation. This connection between the pineal gland and our sexual development adds another layer to its mystique, hinting at its role in our most fundamental biological processes. As scientists delve deeper into the pineal gland's functions, they're uncovering potential links to areas of health we never imagined could be connected. Some researchers are exploring the gland's possible role in regulating mood and emotional well-being. Could the pineal gland be a key player in our mental health, influencing our susceptibility to conditions like depression or anxiety? The concept of the pineal gland as a quantum receiver is gaining traction in some scientific circles. This idea suggests that the gland might act as a bridge between the physical and spiritual dimensions of human experience. While this notion might seem far-fetched at first glance, it aligns with ancient spiritual beliefs about the pineal gland's role as a third eye, or gateway to higher consciousness. What if future research could definitively prove or disprove this concept? The implications could be profound, potentially revolutionizing our understanding of consciousness itself. It's a tantalizing possibility that blurs the lines between science and spirituality, inviting us to reconsider the very nature of our existence. As we look to the horizon of pineal gland research, we see the potential for groundbreaking discoveries that could transform our approach to health and well-being. Emerging studies are exploring the gland's influence on everything from sleep disorders to neurodegenerative diseases. Could a deeper understanding of the pineal gland lead to new treatments for conditions that have long puzzled medical science. The future of pineal gland research also holds promise for those seeking spiritual growth and self-discovery. As our scientific understanding of this enigmatic organ expands, we may find new ways to support and enhance its function. This could potentially open doors to enhanced intuition, deeper meditative states, and more profound spiritual experiences. Consider the work of researchers like Lynn McTaggart, who have explored the power of group intention and its effects on reality. Could future studies on the pineal gland reveal it as a biological antenna for tapping into collective consciousness? The possibilities are both exciting and humbling, suggesting that we may have only scratched the surface of our potential for connection and awareness. As we continue to unravel the mysteries of the pineal gland, we're likely to encounter questions that challenge our current understanding of the mind-body connection. How might advances in neuroscience and spiritual practices converge to offer new insights into human consciousness? The answers to these questions could reshape our approach to personal growth, health, and our place in the universe. Staying informed about pineal gland research could prove invaluable for those seeking a holistic approach to well-being. As new discoveries emerge, we may find innovative ways to support our pineal gland health through lifestyle choices, meditation practices, and even technological interventions. This knowledge could empower us to take a more active role in our physical and spiritual development. Your personal journey, embracing the mystery. As we've explored the fascinating world of the pineal gland, we've seen how this tiny organ bridges science and spirituality from regulating our sleep cycles to potentially unlocking higher states of consciousness, the pineal gland offers a unique window into our physical and spiritual nature. What if nurturing your pineal gland could open doors to profound personal growth? Consider approaching this topic with both scientific curiosity and spiritual openness. By balancing skepticism with wonder, you might uncover insights that transform your understanding of yourself and your place in the universe. Remember, your journey with the pineal gland is deeply personal. Whether you're drawn to meditation practices, lifestyle adjustments, or simply learning more, trust your intuition. 
What experiences have you had that might relate to pineal gland function? Share your thoughts and join the conversation about this remarkable inner antenna.